In this simple bow staff spinning tutorial, you're gonna learn the basics of bow staff spinning. You're gonna get good really fast if you follow me now. You're just gonna start with a simple warm up turn, starting with one of your hands, doesn't matter which one, because you're gonna do both hands evenly. And I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds and then put it into the other hand and then do the same thing over here. You wanna warm up so that you don't injure your body during the training. Take your time, slow is smooth, smooth becomes fast. I'm using a very heavy Hickory Cane Master staff. This is made for self-defense, although the spinning is not necessarily self-defense moves. You use spinning, you're gonna bring your hand together, you use spinning to develop timing and distance, speed, power in your strikes, but you don't use spinning in self-defense. Hello, Will, it's good to see you. You're going side to side here. Your pinkies come together. Palms are facing the sky. You turn it out and bring it back in. This is going to start to develop power in your forearms as you do this motion. Do this for 30 seconds. Put it in one hand. Hello, Matthew, good to see you. You're going to lead with your thumb as you carve a forward figure eight. Hello, Garen, good to see you, Garen. You're coming to one side with a big circle. And then on the other side, pull your stomach up and in, abs tight, drop your chin, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you slowly go from one side of the body to the next, I'll show you from the side. You're just making a circle here. And then the same circle back here on this side. And the circle turns around your body. Later, you're gonna do that same motion to the front and the back of the body, and you can speed it up. For right now, we're just going slowly from one side to the other side. Alita, good to see you. And then you're going to take it, pinkies together, palm up into your other hand. This is my left hand. Put your left foot forward when you have it in your left hand and do the same thing. You're carving that sideways figure eight using your thumb. Taking your time, you want to control the staff as you move it around your body. Again, keep your stomach up and in, abs tight, drop the chin, breathe. Do this for 30 seconds. And now you're gonna go from one hand to the other and a transfer with the pinky fingers coming together, palms up. This is your left hand. When you bring it to your right side, the right side slides in behind the left hand. The right hand takes it. You bring it over, turn it up, grab it in the left hand. As you practice this simple bow staff spinning tutorial, try to be mindful of what you're doing, feel your body, think about it, be present in the moment, focus on your breathing. And as you get the motion, gradually you can speed up, but you don't have to speed up until you're ready. And again, spinning is not self-defense when it comes to this weapon, this spinning is like skipping rope for a boxer or an MMA fighter. You skip rope to improve your cardio, you skip rope to train your legs, conditioning the body, but you don't skip rope in a fight. You don't spin the staff. You stand behind it, you point it, you stick it in his face, smash it through, bring it down on top. Those are the basic strikes. So we do the spinning work on timing and distance, proprioception, get a feel for how your staff moves through space and time. Now, I want you to take your right hand up over your body and you're gonna warm up over your head in that first motion. Watch what happens when you bend your elbow. You run into your head. If you're hitting yourself in the head, your elbow is bent or you've turned your staff. You don't wanna hit yourself in the head, keep your elbow straight. Turn from one side and out. Do this for 30 seconds. You're gonna feel it build up in the back of the shoulder. You're gonna bring it in, put it in the other hand. Do this for 30 seconds and then come in with your pinkies together. This is the exact same thing you did here in front of your body at the beginning of this workout, this tutorial. Now you're doing an overhead. Going from one side to the other. This is how you'll build extremely strong shoulders, an extremely strong grip that will allow you to fight for self-defense 
with your staff, especially if you use a hard, heavy hickory staff like the one I'm using here. This one weighs a little over a pound and a half, which doesn't seem like a lot until you get it over your head for 30 seconds. Then from here in your right hand, you're gonna bring it down behind your back and you're gonna turn your thumb up. Your other hand is gonna slide under and you're gonna pull it out, lift it up over your head. Then you're gonna bring that hand down, turn your thumb up, take your opposite hand, go behind your back, between your back and the staff, pull it out and lift it up. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what my hands are doing. Notice that your thumb is up, your other hand comes under it. You're just going to bring it down from one side and then up over the head and back. Good evening. Sorry. Once you've gone one direction for about 30 seconds, switch, and go in the other direction. Now, in this simple bow staff spinning tutorial, I want you to spin it around your wrist. This is called a wrist roll. With your thumb up and your left hand, you're gonna turn your pinky up, open the hand, allow the staff to balance in the back of the hand, and then your hand is gonna turn and take it. Finish spinning as far as it will go. Bring it back, open the hand, and spin it around. Start slowly, and every time you drop it, pick it up. You're gonna be dropping it a lot when you do this one until you've done it for a while, then you won't drop it as much. And then you'll drop it very rarely and you don't quit. The only way to grow is get out of your comfort zone. Put in the other hand, coming over one side, back the other way, slowly. Hello, Nicholas, it's good to see you. Hello, everybody who's here. I know I missed some of you, come on. Oh, just whack the camera stand a little bit. Once you've done that, you're going to go back to your spinning and your figure eight, and you're going to put your wrist rolls in. This is more of an intermediate skill, but you'll be able to do it if you don't give up. You can speed up when you're ready, put it in the other hand after 30 seconds. Your goal is 30 seconds per move. If you do this every day for two weeks, no way you won't improve by a lot. Push yourself. Don't give up, don't give in, don't surrender, don't quit. Get your ego out of the way. Allow it to be bad until it gets good. And don't judge yourself. Learn how to speak positive words into your training. The way you talk to yourself is the way you end up talking to other people. The last thing that you can do is a finger roll. Not the last thing, there are about 30 more spins that I'll show you. But for the last one here, I want you to get it through your fingers. Now you might need to use your other hand to turn it and to keep it from hitting the deck, hitting the floor. And then once you get it, it's just a continuous spin between all four fingers. You'll get this one if you slow it down and take your time. Thank you, Alita, for that generous gift. Bring it back the other way. Taking your time. Again, throw that other hand in there. Keep it going. Again, allow yourself to drop it. Every time you drop it, pick it up. It's never a problem to drop it. When you don't pick it up, that's the problem. You're gonna get a really strong grip. The more you do the finger rolls, 
the healthier your forearm is going to be. You're going to get rid of any, any tendonitis you get from spinning the staff because of the finger rolls, because you're opening and closing your hands, you're exercising your extensors and your flexors evenly, and you're strengthening them in a way that's going to heal any overuse injuries because one side's tight and the other side's unused. This is going to get them balanced out. There we go. You drop it, pick it up. Beat the ceiling, lower it down a little bit, keep it going. And then once you get that, you can put that in, wrist roll to a wrist roll, or you can throw in the finger roll to so the wrist roll on the opposite side and the finger roll goes on the same side. Practice those. Once you've get, gotten those down, those basic moves, come back here and then put in the comment section that you've mastered each one of those. You, uh, Garen says you can do this too. You start at the ground. We used to do this with a um, sledgehammer that really builds the muscle in your forearm. Anyway, you guys have been awesome. Thank you again, Lita, and I'll see you. In